friends, my name is Itlali. Welcome to Lifehouse Kids. This month, we will be talking about how God has plans for you. So when I ask, who has plans for you? I want you to say, God has plans for me. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. Yes, it's true. We have an awesome song, so let's sing it together. going to make. I guess I should read these instructions. What well, says these instructions will tell me how to put it together. Let's go. things have you been up to? Hi, Ollie. I'm following the plans to put together this gift my cousin sent me. Plans are important. That is true. And I know someone who has plans for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Follow me through. Ah, the 
that's it. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Good to see you. Look at this cool toaster. It took lots of work and lots of pieces had to come together, but ta-da! <laughs> Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Now, we've been talking about God's plans, and I want to tell you one more really big, really important thing. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders! Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers! You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. We learned about... Two people named Noah and Joseph. God had plans for both of them. God planned for Noah to build a really big boat to save his family and the animals. And God put a rainbow in the sky to remember that God always keeps his promises. Noah trusted God's plans. Way to go, Noah! <laughs> and God had plans for Joseph, too. Joseph had to do many hard things. God used Joseph to save a lot of people, even Joseph's own family. <laughs> Joseph trusted God's plans. Way to go, Joseph! <laughs> okay, so now I have a really big really important thing to tell you about God's plans. God knows the plans he has for you. That's right. God has plans for you. God loves you and has amazing, incredible, wonderful plans for you. That is so exciting. Everyone, yell out loud. God has plans for me. Ready? One. Two, three, God has plans for me. Now, look at your neighbor and say, God has plans for you. Ready? One, two, three, God has plans for you. <laughs> yes, he does. Now let's cheer for God because God has plans for us. Yay, God. <laughs> so, how do we know God's plans? Hmm. We can talk to God and ask Him. We can read the Bible and keep learning about God. <laughs> I am so excited because God has plans for me and God has plans for you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. God has plans for you. And that is wonderful news. Ho! Ho! Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho! Ho! I'm so excited that God has plans for me. And God has plans for you, too. That's so cool. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. and now I have my very own mini golf set. Following the plans worked. See you next time, bye. The Bible teaches us 
for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's learn the memory verse together. Are you ready? Listen to me say it and watch me do the motions. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Now it's your turn, join me. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Great job. God has plans for us because He loves us. Who has plans for us? God has plans for me and you. Awesome, friends. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.